Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God is a good God, even in bad times. Today I want to share with you about singing for victory in our difficult times. I want to read for you from Acts chapter 16, verse 24 to 34. It begins like this. Having received such a charge, he put them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's chains were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, awaking from sleep and seeing the prison doors open, supposing the prisoners had fled, drew his sword and was about to kill himself. But Paul called with a loud voice, saying, Do yourself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for a light, ran in, and fell down, trembling before Paul and Silas. And he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? So they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved, you and your household. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes, and immediately he and all his family were baptized. Now when he had brought them into his house, he set food before them, and he rejoiced, having believed in God with all his household. As exhausted as he felt, Silas could not sleep. You see, the stale air in the inner cell made breathing difficult, and the torment of his wounds kept him from getting much needed sleep. Would he or Paul live to see another day? Silas did not know. Yet, Silas neither meditated on injustice nor despaired of his situation. Instead, faith filled his heart. When Silas and Paul lifted their voices in a song, a violent earthquake shook the prison. Soon they led the jailer and his entire family to the Lord. You have a song to sing as well. Though your situation may feel overwhelming, are you willing to trust God in your circumstances? Do you believe that no problem is beyond his power? As you allow God to conduct the symphony of your life, you will see him shaking your own prisons. Will you, like Silas, lift your voice to herald the coming victory? We oftentimes sing songs in church but then when the real situation hits us in life, we don't sing those songs. I want to remind you of a song that we sing and I want it to make your song, make it your song for today. It says, it's amazing what praises can do. Hallelujah, hallelujah. A part of it says, I don't worry when things go wrong. Jesus turns them into a song. And so I want to encourage you today to sing for victory. It's amazing what praises can do. We should not worry when things go wrong because Jesus will turn those wrong things into a victorious song. Take some time today and begin to sing about the coming victory. We have victory because Jesus has already won. You are on his side. You are on the winning side. Right now, you're in a winning position. Right now, you're on a winning team. Let faith fill your heart in the same way it filled the heart of Silas. So God bless you. Have a blessed day. He's the source of your life, the strength of your life, and he's your portion forever and ever and ever. Amen.